Welcome to our new showcase tutorial video. Today we are introducing the stable release version 2.0.9. Change log. Added option for dashboard message with confirmation. You can now include a customizable confirmation message that appears within the dashboard. You can set parameters like groups, pop-out options, and more. Default Stalker version changed to 5.6.1. We've updated the default version of the Stalker to 5.6.1 on new installations. Added option to set global language setting. A new option allows admins to set a global language preference, which can be applied across all users. Added Live Connections Endpoint to API. A newly introduced API endpoint provides real time monitoring of live connections, giving administrators better visibility into active user sessions. We have also added the ability to send a kill connection through this post request. Added option to add bouquet in package from add slash edit bouquet. Managing bouquets is now more intuitive as we've enabled the ability to add bouquets to packages directly from the add slash edit bouquet screen, simplifying the workflow for package creation and updates. Added content search for resellers. We've added a content page that can be used by your resellers to surf around the newest additions or search for something specific in the search bar. Translations, Greek. We've added a Greek translation to our palette of languages that come with our software. UI Improvements, Security Whitelist. We've made the whitelist interface more user-friendly, simplifying entry management and control. The mass editing and dashboard interface have been streamlined for a faster, more intuitive experience. Bug fixes. Fixed mass edit episode location. Fixed issue with web player long EPG. Fixed update bouquet's response. Fixed min credit transfer validation triggered without an update on credits. Fixed unable to say map with two digits. Thank you for watching this showcase video. For more information contact us directly on onestream.com. And don't forget to subscribe.